seems like everyone in the vlog squad kind of disappearing. David Dobrik went on a hiatus because of the controversies that he's been in. Put myself in a lot of situations where I've needed to apologize for my past action. Everyone else has kind of disappeared. I don't know what's going on with Jonah. I don't know what's going on with Zane and Heath. I think they have a podcast together. Corinna Koff, I guess, is Facebook gaming. But I talked about that in my last video. Go check it out if you haven't seen it already. What I'm talking about right now is Jason Nash. Jason Nash was a huge member of the vlog squad, David's right hand guy. They had a podcast together, the Views podcast. And Jason Nash went completely dark after the David Dobrik situation hasn't really resurfaced until recently. So three months ago was the last thing that he did. Views aren't that great. 257,600,000. He doesn't really get a million views. Like without David Dobrik being there, he's kind of just like a, eh, he's teetering on the edge of fame. But he made a first episode. My new talk show was a disaster. This is called The Jason Nash Show. And you know who is producing this show? Trilla. Trilla was originally an app that was supposed to be like the TikTok killer. It was exactly the same as TikTok, but when people didn't download it, I guess they became a media company and giving people TV shows like Jason Nash. It's really weird. Everyone brace yourself, but this is super cringe. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Jason Nash Show, starring Jason Nash. Why is he trying to be like this quirky late night host? He has like a voice in the background. It's the Jason Nash Show. Everyone, look at me putting lotion on my legs. Not a lion in the sand. Look at the back. It says Trilla. Oh, what a beautiful day. Ladies and gentlemen, the Jason Nash Band. Thank you. I can't tell if he's trying to be like an actual late night host or if he's trying to be like satirical. Because, you know, like Eric Andre has like a, a co-host that kind of just makes jokes and breaks things. Is that supposed to be like that? Or is he supposed to be like Andy Richter? Like an actual, you know, you know, like Conan O'Brien's co- I, I have no idea. I just, just keep watching. Oh, 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 what a beautiful day. A beautiful day. Have, have, have you noticed that this is, it's still going? It's still going. Like the joke has ended, right? The set was $35,000. No way. There's no way that you paid for this set. I don't even, I don't get how, why Trilla would even decide to do this with him. Jason Nash didn't really come out and apologize for some of the stuff they did in, in the past. Some of the reasons why David Dobrik was canceled in the first place. Look at this insider article. Jason Nash returned to YouTube without addressing Vlog Squad essay allegations. This is what I mean. He didn't apologize. He didn't talk about it. He didn't say anything. But here he is with a brand new show, guys. All right, let's get into some jokes, huh, guys? What is this piece of paper? This crumpled paper? You're a host of a show and you got crumpled paper? It's weird that Dixie D'Amelio has, like, better production value than you. Like, Dixie D'Amelio has, like, a whole thing going on here. This is a set. You know what I mean? She's not, she's not holding crumpled pieces of paper. Not to give Dixie too much props or anything but it's way better. An NFT by the artist Beeple recently sold for $69 million and shows what the artist did every day for the last 13 years. I had a similar piece that was on sale, but nobody wanted to buy 5,000 paintings of me crying in the shower. What? He wrote his own jokes here because that was terrible. Like Jason Nash is a comedian. He was a stand-up comedian or so, yeah, I, yeah, I guess he, he was a stand-up comedian. And then David Dobrik found him in a comedy place one day and said, hey, want to be in my vlogs instead of embarrassing yourself up there? I'm going to a comedy club to watch some friends and I see Jason performing. And Jason just puts on this hilarious skit where he's basically yelling at the audience and he's telling them that they're stupid millennials. And then I approach him after the show like a producer of some big budget movie. And I'm like, hey, I want you to do that in front of the big cameras tomorrow at my place on the vlog. <laughs> Wait, oh, he has more jokes. A new report says two weeks after your first Moderna or Pfizer vaccine will make you 80% immune to COVID. It also makes you 80% more likely to brag about it on Instagram. Some, some more jokes that Jason Nash wrote himself and, and they keep going. I think he has some better ones here. Oh, he's still talking. It's a three minute, three minutes of mon. Okay, his, his first guest finally showed up. Hey, how you doing? Larry, Larry, wake up. Now that's when you play. Larry, no. wake up, oh, play oh. him in. This is an embarrassment. Everything about the show is an embarrassment. It's so bad. 
I feel so bad for Jason Nash. Clearly, he doesn't want to be here. Look at his face. He's dead inside. I think he's just happy to be doing anything, really. Like, he's trying to make a career for himself, but this is not the path. Ooh! Oh, no. Look at the like to this like ratio. 7.2 thousand upvotes and 9.2 thousand downvotes. He's trying so hard here, and he's failing. Have you guys seen the Eric Andre show? Mmm, it's beautiful. It's classic. It's funny. It's on Cartoon Network. The good thing about Eric Andre is that he's such a good writer and he's such a funny guy and he will do anything to embarrass himself. He'll go out in the wild and he'll prank himself and prank other people. His movie on Netflix is one of the funniest movies of all time. It's reality prank movie. It's kind of like Borat, but it was better than Borat to be completely honest. But this isn't it. Like he's I think he's trying to be like Eric Andre, but he's, he's it's not it's not working out. Yeah, let me show you a quick Eric Andre clip. Hey, look, 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 look at this, look at Ladies this. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome my next guest, Wiz Khalifa! The set is obviously terrible, but on purpose, because he breaks everything in the, like, every single episode. Go on. Like, Wiz Khalifa doesn't know what's going on. He has no clue. Wiz Cleaver is concerned for, for everything that's coming out of his mouth at that moment. You know what, well, before we go back to Jason Nash, just one more thing here. <laughs> oh, if you guys don't know, that's where that meme came from as well. A man who knows how to entertain. And then we have dead in the eyes Nash, just dead in his eyes. Kiss my band leader. Oh! He's, 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 he's one, well, he's 100% of the Jason Nash band. I can't help it, but I'm so in love. He's relying too hard for this bit with this old man and the ukulele. Why is he putting all of his eggs in the old man ukulele bit? It's not funny. It wasn't funny the first time, the second, the third, or the fourth, or the fifth. Or the six. Now, let me read some of these comments here because you know, because you know he's getting roasted. Okay, here we go. Oh no. Ain't no way you watched this back and said, yep, this is a good video. Let me upload it. So true. Oh my goodness. Eric Andre should sue Trilla. That's what I'm saying. Yes, Jason, give us nothing. Every single person is roasting Jason Nash. Not Jason trying to rip off Eric Andre after Jeff already did. At least Jeff pulled it off. That's true. Jeff's barbershop. Jeff Whittock had a show called Jeff's Barbershop. That was kind of a spin on Eric Andre's show where he would give people haircuts and then he'd kind of like prank them as well. And it was way better. I didn't even think about Jess Barbershop. Look at this episode with Casey Neistat. <laughs> I said is inside the closet when he's he's shredding it with the chainsaw like it's the same sort of thing you know what it was actually kind of funny huh good for you Jeff Wittick oh no okay you guys ready for this the set is cheap looking sad poorly lit and there's an entire corner of a dark empty space that is in frame for some reason <laughs> Jason is just as sad looking and unfunny the old dude playing the banjo made me sad too awful and depressing okay it's a ukulele first of all not a banjo but he's completely right wait what is he talking about there's an entire corner of, of dark empty space <laughs> and, uh, it is poorly lit look at the shadows yeah this is bad man let's see some more roasts down here poor larry i hope they aren't paying him in clout that's a callback please don't do more of these i'm scrolling here i'm gonna i'm doing a quick scroll and i'm not finding a single positive comment Bing, right here when you could never get on snl in your life this was so hard to watch <gasps> rest in peace jason nash if you're gonna return to the internet, at least do it in a better way. Maybe at least, oh, first, I don't know, apologize? That's the first thing. Second thing, don't make a show with Trilla. Maybe that's number two, right? I will be back next week with a new episode. Thanks. Did he really give finger guns to end his show? No way. That's enough of that, guys. I think we've seen enough. I'm sorry. Oh, this is that sad music playing in the background. This is the sad music that should have been playing while I was watching the Jason Nash show. Because this is how I felt inside. Just depressed he's really not doing well